Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I just got back from Atlanta. I went there with Captivate. If you don't know what Captivate is, the easiest way to describe it is kind of like a PR type company, very similar to Reward Style or Like to Know It that it's called now. They're a company that joins products and restaurants and rental house companies and clothing companies, fashion companies with people like myself. And so they asked me to come speak on their trend tour in Atlanta to just give my perspective on the things that are important, which my number one thing of importance is to be authentic. I told them how I respect you guys. A lot of you have been here with me from the beginning and I'm not going to just show you anything. You know what I mean? It's gonna to have to align with my brand and it's gonna to have to align with my audience. It was just like a little talk, a little, they called it a fireside chat. It was actually just a small type banquet room and I really enjoyed it. It was one of those things that I was excited to do. It's not the most people I've spoken in front of because I did a lot of things when I was like in junior high. I did a lot of speaking in front of the school, like running for president, things like that. But at this age, it might be the biggest like in-person audience. And when I got through, I wanted to do it again. I love stuff like that. So that's where I am coming back from. It was just a one night trip. We stayed at the Nobu Hotel. Right when I got there, I had a few hours to spare. So even before I went up to my room, I went into the Nobu restaurant and had a good, delicious steak. And then I went up to my room and I'll put some footage in here. The room was really nice. It wasn't like the biggest you know, room that I've ever been in, but it was really really nice. It was laid out perfectly, plenty of room to move around. The bathroom was beautiful and I really enjoyed it. Then I went downstairs. I was supposed to meet one of the girls to kind of go over what we were talking about. So another thing that was amazing about this hotel is it was attached to the Phipps Plaza Mall, which I had never been in. Oh my goodness. Let's just say that is where I will be going from now on when it comes to the Nordstrom sale or doing some shopping or maybe my next Saks collab, something like that. I didn't get to go into any of the big department stores because I only had about an hour. I walked in and oh my goodness, it was just like Balmain, Fendi, YSL, Gucci, and I am filming in a bit of a new spot today. Remember when I first moved in this house and I filmed right here in this corner? This is the best light. Though I would love to be able to stand in front of that white wall all the time, it's harder to get the light. And then if I stand in front of those dark doors, it's harder for you to see me. So I just moved part of this modular sofa over there and we're gonna do some more moving around. But for today, I want to sit here. So the first place I went in was the Barreto store and everyone was so nice there. Atlanta is one of my favorite places to go. I honestly think that's somewhere I could live. It's almost like a Southern New York. It's like being in New York as far as the city and the whole fast and, and the traffic, the whole fast vibe, but everyone is so sweet and so Southern. And so I feel right at home and just loved it, loved it. So I went in there and let me show you what I got. Okay, in this bag, I have this, which is the milk primer that I showed you last Friday. You guys, I love every piece of this. The primer, the powder I have on today and the setting spray. I mean, impressive, impressive. My makeup lasts hours and hours and I have oily skin in a humid climate and it's just beautiful. Okay, so the first things I got because I packed a carry-on bag, which I never do that. Usually when I'm traveling, because I'm in like the fashion and makeup business, I have more than the average person. And it's more important to me. It would be even if I wasn't doing this probably. But nine times out of 10, I'm staying a good three nights. Well, this was one night. So I challenged myself to just take my carry-on and it was very easy because I'm not having to wash and style my hair and everything, that was easy. But I forgot my little fragrance. A lot of times I keep those in my caboodle makeup carrier, but I also challenged myself to use my new little pink makeup case. And so I had forgotten a fragrance. 
I didn't want to overwhelm anyone. So I went in there to just get a couple of the hand lotions. This is something I recommend when you're going to a conference or something that is more professional. When someone gets in your space, you want to smell good, but when you're sitting in a chair and someone is sitting next to you that you don't really even know, you don't want to overwhelm them. I think that time I wore Chanel Chance. I think that's what it was. It was when Brooke was in a mom's. We would take turns at the church. Two moms would watch all the kids and then you know, the other moms could go shop for about three hours. It was like a little play group. I made this girl cough and choke. She had to get away from me with that Chanel chance. <laughs> and I have been scarred by that, so I will never do that to anyone. So anyway, I grabbed these. This is Gypsy Water and then Ball de Freak, just to great everyday scents. I don't like fresh scents but they're not too deep. Then let's see, oh, I had such a good time. The people in there were so nice. Like everywhere I went, everyone was so nice. Even strangers were nice. I love it, I love it, I love, I love being Southern. This was sitting out like this on the counter and this is a limited edition eyeshadow palette. She said that the makeup artist that did the makeup in the Barbie movie had used this palette, but the reason I got it is just because it reminds me a lot of some of the YSL palettes, but I love those rosy brown tones. I just thought it was so pretty. I've never really tried any of the Barreto eyeshadow palettes. Matter of fact, I looked at all the ones they had and this to me grabbed my attention, but just very, very pretty. I do have this on today along with some other products that I got from Barreto. This is the one dud that I got, but that's okay. This is a gloss and it's, I guess the name of it is Tar Desert. I'm not sure who I am going to give this to, but I have already tried it on and it was just way too yellowy orangey clay on me. It did not look good. So I'm gonna find someone with much darker skin because she was wearing this and she had much darker skin and it looked great on her. She had my whole vibe. She had the whole wing liner, the nude lip, like right as soon as I walked in, we connected and she knew exactly what I wanted. So with that said, let me show you what I did get that I love. And then I got a gift with purchase. This is the color stick and she gave me several, several little samples, like little bubble packs of the color sticks. And I've got the black one on today and a little bit of a dark charcoal one on my eyes. I wanted to do kind of like a smudgy, smoky wing liner today and a nude lip since I have been so bold lately with my red and my dark lips. So this is a color stick. I guess you could use it on your eyes or anything else. Let me swatch it for you because it's glossy. And this is what I have on my lips and it even, Smells good, not perfumey. A little bit like vanilla. Maybe it's just sweet, but isn't it pretty? I love that, I love that. So this is for my nude lip girls. I've been leaving you out lately. And then they gave me a sample of their astronomical mascara for volume. And this is good. First of all, look at this little container. It kind of reminds me of Bottega. It has a fabulous wand just bent just enough. I did use it today, but you might not be able to tell because I did put on like half lashes, but I love this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that was my Barreto haul. Okay, then I walked down to, where was the next place? I guess this was the next place that I went into. I went into Gucci and I looked at the belts. There was actually two that I really liked. One of them actually had the word Gucci written out and I had on a black slip dress. It was like the one that I wore to the Barbie event, but it was in black from Zara. And I just felt like I needed a belt. And I, I love belting slip dresses. So I saw that one and I loved it. But then I saw this one that has the different design for the belt buckle. And I just felt like it was just different and really classy. And the size I got, that's where I have trouble. Because I like lower waisted jeans, 
I need a bigger belt. But then when it comes to wearing it around my waist, I need another hole punched into it. And I might need another hole punched into this one. Let's see. Yes, an 85. 80 would have been perfect, but I've noticed when I get an 80, it's just about too small when I wear low waist jeans. So I'm riding that little, you know, in between. I might even take this to like a shoe store or something and have that professionally done. So that was a really good purchase. I ended up loving the dress with the belt. It looked so much better. I was so glad I did that. And in the whole world of Gucci belts, it wasn't that crazy expensive. Okay, I'm just kind of like going right along. I've got a bunch of stuff here to show you. Some of it I've already tried on and some of it I'll try on for you after this video. City Beauty sent this to me yesterday and it's a new limited edition color and it's called Sparkling Cider. Let's put a little bit on with that. I love that. So glad that they came out with another lighter one. That one kind of looks like a little bit of a more pizzazzy Tokyo nude or is it Nude York? I will list my discount code in City Beauty down below. This is not sponsored. They just sent it to me. And I forgot to bring up here the next big purchase that I made. And I don't really recommend this for just everyone. This is something I have been wanting for, I would say years. And that is a Saint Laurent black blazer. So I went in Saint Laurent, I looked at the handbags. I asked them to try on the little Sherpa Tribute flat sandals. They didn't have my size. I was like, okay, while I'm here, I want to try on the Saint Laurent blazer because I never know what size I want because I wanted a little bit oversized. So I ended up getting just a plain everyday black blazer, a little bit oversized. She brought out two different sizes and the first one fit like I would say half of the people would want it to. But then the second one was a little bit bigger and I just loved it. I ended up wearing it home yesterday. It's very comfortable and I love it. But I am a blazer girl. I have been just wanting that one for a while. But I will say I have one coming in that I ordered just to see how close it is to that one from Zara. So stay tuned for that. And then I have got some shoes that I have ordered and I have ordered lots of clothes for several reasons. One, I have the Like to Know It style conference coming up and that is just something that is so much fun to get dressed up, be around other people that appreciate fashion and beauty and all the things that we do. So I have purchased some things and I don't want to show you everything because you know how it is when you go somewhere like a special event, sometimes you want things to be brand new, but I thought I would show you a few of the shoes, especially this pair. I have in my hands. They are so good. These are Jeffrey Campbell. They have them in black. It's in my cart and they have the most beautiful kitten heel. A lot of times a kitten heel just looks ridiculous to me. Like they're about to pop off. I feel like they're going to make me look like an elephant wearing high heels. These are perfection. You know that red and the burgundies and the wines are so on trend, especially red shoes. And then this little detail is just fabulous. These are just they're perfection and they're comfortable. I wore these last Sunday and loved them. My mom loved them. My dad loved them. They're just really good shoes. So I didn't want to wait because I don't want them to sell out. And I did get my typical size eight. So these are must haves. These look so good with jeans. They're going to look good with dresses. These are kind of like a good alternative to a flat in a way, and then another good alternative to a pump. Then I saw these, I'm not sure, I think I got these from Anthropology, and they are these Steve Madden little mules, kind of like, I would say, Manolo inspired, very Sex in the City, Carrie inspired. I love shoes like this, oh my goodness. And I just thought this print was so cool. One, because it's a little bit Dolce & Gabbana looking, especially with the laces. And I love that it was the taupey colors and the cream, so all about New York. And these are available in solid colors, but what I liked about them the most was this print. So let's tell you about also the top that I have on, sorry about this. 
But this is a sweatshirt that I ordered from Revolve. I can't remember the name brand, but I love sweatshirts and t-shirts that are a little bit fancy like this so that you can wear these with, I wouldn't wear these with denim unless it was like some baggy lighter denim and you're going for the denim on denim look. But the first thing I thought of is to wear these with black pants and then I remembered these Zara pants that I do think a lot of you got. So let me tilt you over here and show you this outfit. So a lot of you got these tapered pants from Zara and then I did just tuck in the front of this sweatshirt, but see how like ornate and a little bit over the top this sweatshirt is? I love it. I think it looks so good with trousers, even if you have like those Abercrombie trousers in the cream, it would look good with those too. Now these do have pockets, but I have chosen to not unstitch the pockets. Very hard because I always want to put my hands in my pockets, but I think these pants might end up looking better with them staying stitched up like this and love it. So you can see the shoes, very comfortable. There's enough of your foot that goes in there because they're a pretty good mule. No toe cleavage is showing. So your whole foot goes in there. These are true to size. I think they're perfect to wear with joggers and like a pair of camo joggers with these shoes and just a white t-shirt, but this outfit especially. Look how pretty it is. It reminds me of the white one that I bought last year from Rebecca Minkoff. And then these, when I came back from New Mexico, I think I told you in that vlog, I'll put that up here, the value of sneakers and of comfortable shoes. So I was kind of on that vibe when I saw these on Anthropology. The name brand is Gola. I don't remember them being incredibly expensive, but what I liked about them is they kind of give you that Samba vibe, but it's just a little bit of a softer look. And I love like the front of them, the stripes. They just looked like sneakers that look stylish, but comfortable, and they, these will look good with trousers and very versatile. I haven't worn them yet, I just got them. I've got trips coming up. I might end up wearing them for like an airport outfit. Matter of fact, I was gonna wear these the day that I left to go to Atlanta, but my jeans were so long, I needed my Gucci sneakers because my Gucci sneakers are almost like a heel because they're more of that running style. Those are the best, the best sneakers. I hope that they're still available. If they are, I'll link them below. Remember when I did the outfit and I was doing an inspiration pick by Kate Moss and she had on leopard flats. Well, I was on the hunt and I found some good ones. The perfect little heel. That's the reason I don't like wearing flats. It's because I feel like I look better. I feel like I walk better. I hold myself and carry myself better if I have a little bit of a heel. These actually have like a little bow detail on the back too. These are Bernardo. I think I might've gotten these from Anthropology too. So let me try these on for you. They are so, so comfortable. I mean, they don't slip off my heel. They're soft. I love how just plain and simple they are. I've even seen people wear these with like baggier denim with like a big blazer and just a little bit of the, you know, leopard sticking out. I would wear these in a skinny minute with some black yoga pants or black leggings and a big sweatshirt and then put a big black overcoat or big blazer with it. Perfect. And you can see they don't slip off of my heels. They're soft. Love them. Let me show them to you again. They're so pretty. I'm really excited about these. I did order some new handbags too, but I kind of want to wait to use those. But oh my God. I got some good ones. Now these next ones I saw on the plane when I was coming back to New Mexico and I ordered them right there 
It was, a, I think, a free people ad on Instagram, and it's these boots. Can you see, like, the cutout? Very cool. The model had them on with a long denim skirt. I do not know what I'm gonna end up wearing these with, but I loved them. They weren't crazy expensive. They're Matisse, and I got the size eight medium. They do fit. I've already tried them on and thrown away the box, but isn't that cool? Okay, I have a huge H&M haul coming up. Might be the biggest one store haul I've ever had. What happened is I was on Instagram. John and I both were on Instagram looking at something, Liv Judd was doing an H&M try on. And so many of you request that I do H&M. I know the sizes are great there, the selection is great there, and the prices are great there. Well, they have the studio collection. And then when John and I were watching that, I thought, okay, all that stuff that she just tried on looked so good. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up early, I'm gonna spend some time, because it takes hours to go through the entire website and I ordered everything that I thought you guys might like and I thought I might like. And some things I ordered in multiple colors. We're gonna try all of those on. Matter of fact, I think I might unbox them with you. I've got like lots of boxes downstairs and I'll just return what I don't like. I'll keep what I do like. So that's coming up soon and a big Zara haul. But I wanted to go ahead and show you this really quick before it sells out because the handbags sell out pretty quickly. And that is this bag. It comes in, I think, off-white, black, and this color. But if you're like me and you are a pink girl, this is just a really cool bag. But I love the like chain hardware. I love the look of it, the way it's kind of like that crinkled look. And it does have this pocket on the outside, a good pocket on the inside, and another good pocket. Just a really good wearable bag. It's a little bit bigger than I usually like these days, but I think it is fabulous and I think it's really cool looking and stylish. Let me go over here again. Yeah, love it. And this has the stuffing in it, so it won't be quite as fat. And I love it, I love it. I don't want it to sell out before you guys get it. And oh gosh, it does look like you can take this little thing and adjust it to be longer. Too. This is a little sweater that I ordered a while ago from Anthropology, and I got it to wear like I do that little Target Wild Fable jacket that I had on. I can't remember what haul it was. I think it was my For the Style Obsessed. I'll put it up here, and I put it on with those little cargos. Every time I wear that jacket, people love it. I'm not sure it's still available because that was last year, but I saw this little sweater on Anthropology and I loved it. It's the perfect little statement piece, like a little shrug to put on with anything, any jeans, any skirt, any jumpsuit, things like this make an outfit. And it had been on back order. I think they called it ivory, but it's almost got like a blushy tone to it, which I really like, but really cool. It's going to be warm too. No buttons or anything. Let me see what it's made from. Yeah, Anthropology, one size fits all, and it's made from polyester and nylon and a little bit of wool, 8% wool. So it's definitely gonna keep you warm. And I want to keep on traveling a little bit more and I'll be honest, in the winter, it's hard for me because I'm not used to just being cold. So one of the things I've had on my mind too is I want some statement coats, jackets. You guys know how much I love faux furs and I have some amazing faux furs coming up. I've just been ordering everything. And then what I don't like, I can send back and that way I can give you guys lots of options. I'm gonna answer this because this is one of my most asked question. One of them is what do I do with the things that you guys see me buy? The simple answer is I either wear them, I post my outfits every day, every day I get dressed. I love deciding what I want to wear according to my mood, according to just how I feel that day, how I want to present myself, what I'm doing. I also know that I'm going out of town a lot 
And this is my thing. I'm into fashion. I do this for a living. So of course I'm going to purchase more than the average person would. I would think it would be kind of like Tiger Woods having a lot of golf clubs or Martha Stewart having a lot of pots and pans or anybody that's in the profession, you're gonna have more than someone who isn't. Now, what I do is I order for all of us, but with my taste, I'm not just gonna order things. I mean, I think I bring something different to the table here on my channel, especially for our age range. So I try to think of all of you. I use your input, your DMs, your comments, and I order things that you guys may like. Some that are more conservative, some of you are more trendy, some of you are in your 30s, some of you are in your 70s. So I am shopping for all of you. So when I order something, I do a try on haul, just like you would order you know, 50 things from H&M and you get those things, you try them on in your home, you look in the mirror, you decide what you like, and then you return the rest. That's what I do. So I don't really return a lot. I keep a lot. And what I do is use it for future styling videos. Like I said, I think of it kind of as ingredients. I love it. I love being able to look on Pinterest or look on Instagram or see a look that I like and know that I can put it together. Just like if you were to see a recipe, you would have those ingredients in your pantry. Another thing is I do give a lot away. I don't just throw everything in a giant trash bag and dump it off at just any random place. I really have people in my life that I love to bless with the clothes and the makeup and the jewelry that I don't use. I have some young girls that are just starting out in their professional career. I have some women my age that I give to. I have some friends of Brooke, my daughter who's 23 that I give to. I give a lot of things to my cleaning girls because I want to bless them. And I try to be very strategic with who I give certain things to. I give a lot of things to my mom. I give a lot of things to my daughter, Brooke, and her friends, like I said, her roommate, and that's what I do with it. So I wear it, I love it, I love looking at clothes. Sometimes, matter of fact, my new blazer that I got from St. Laurent is hanging on like a special hook downstairs because I just love it and it makes me happy. That is the long answer to what I do with all of my clothes. I love them, I wear them, and when I'm done, I just pass them along. So there is that answer. So this I love, I think it's gonna be fun to work with. Speaking of fun, did any of you get the latest free people catalog? The girl on the front was wearing this faux fur. It comes in another color. This is the pink and purple version. This reminds me of the coat in Almost Famous and it might be something that I wear one time. It might be something that I wear just a handful of times, but I wanted it, so I got it. These type of coats are what I love for when you want to just put on, like a lot of times in the winter, I'll just put on jeans and a white t-shirt or black leggings and a black top. And I can wear that all day, but when I go out, I can throw on a statement jacket and some cool shoes, and I've just taken it up 10 levels by just putting on a good statement coat. So this is just fabulous. It's from the brand Free People. I did get a medium. I usually size up in my coats because I like the way they look oversized but it is true to size. I could wear the small. Like I said, I just like that drapey look. I do think this isn't necessarily inexpensive, but I do think when we're shopping at places like Zara and H&M, it's good to err on the too big side because anytime things are a little bit less expensive and maybe not cut exactly right, the larger sizes do tend to look better but love this, love the inside, love it all, love the sleeves. Looking forward to going places and wearing these things. Okay, we have a loser. This is something I ordered thinking it would be just fabulous. And I'll be honest with you, I have not tried this on. So I may try it on after this video and I may change my mind. So far, 
It's not, it's from the brand Lovers and Friends, which is one of my favorite lines at Revolve. Oliver is a boutique here in town. They used to sell that. And one of my favorite dresses is from this brand. And they're not that expensive. They're pretty decent quality. And they're always very, very trendy and stylish. And I just loved the Chanel-esque look of this with the nice buttons, but it looks like it's going to be way too big. I did get a medium, but I will try this on just to make sure it's a loser. <laughs> but upon first glance, it is. Then I got this t-shirt. Okay, so many of you say that, first of all, you're a t-shirts and jeans kind of girl. So I always have that in the back of my mind. Believe me, I read my comments. I care about what you guys say. Even if it's not my style, I do keep it in the back of my mind. And a lot of you say you prefer V-necks. And I understand because V-necks do really elongate your body, make you look taller. They're great for all different kinds of jewelry and scarves and they're great for a larger chest. So I grabbed this t-shirt and it is fabulous. Look how soft it is. It has a very flattering deep V. I love the color, kind of like this charcoal and it's from Lovers and Friends. Okay, 70% modal, 30% polyester. So that tells you right there why it feels so good. It almost has a little bit of a stripe look to it. Very, very good. You know, I'm all about how things drape on your body. Love it. This outfit. I had this on first today. Typically what I would do is everything that I have to show you, I try on before I show you. But this week has been kind of crazy with me going out of town, but I did not want to miss my videos. So I didn't have a chance to try these things on before I showed you. So this morning I put this on along with these jeans and oh my goodness, I loved it. I did not want to take it off. I tried it on with boots. You can tuck it in, you can leave it out. This looks so expensive. This top is so nice. It's from Lovers and Friends also. I must have been on their page. It has shoulder pads. It's kind of like that jacket, the little tweed jacket look that I like so much, but in a very casual way. But it still gave me kind of like that Balmain vibe. So then I remembered these jeans that I ordered from Revolve. Brooke, my daughter, really liked these. Look at how cool these are with the design. This to me also gives Balmain vibes and some 90s. This reminds me of some jeans I would have worn back then. Has the zipper up and the size could not be better. I got the 27, which is what I typically get. I would say these are a four to six. If you are a small four, you may want to get the 26. I am a four in the hips and behind, but my waist doesn't really go in like a lot of people's does. So I am between a four and a six when I order, but these are amazing. That outfit is perfection. And it even has like the cool design on the back. I did order two necklaces because I feel like a lot of the necklaces that I show can get kind of pricey. And I wanted to pick out some things that look very similar to the Dean Davidson and the Jenny Bird that isn't quite as much, quite as expensive. And I am very happy with these. I always like a good two-tone. I'm not sure what brand these are. I've already taken them off of the little card thing. It's not Zara. It's definitely from Revolve. Revolve always has good stuff that's like right on trend. It has the big hook that I love. And so let's put this on and try it. Yes. Okay. It gives you that edgy look, but not too crazy. And then this one, you know how I feel about a heart. So this one has the double hearts and then it is also two-toned. It's so funny. I was just taking that necklace off and my microphone came off and there's a magnet on the inside and I was trying to get it out. I had to untuck my shirt and it came out of this pants leg. <laughs> How in the world did that happen? This one's just your very simple chain and then this one is like this and this is how you put it on. So I guess you could choose to wear the hearts in the front or in the back. Okay, this one is a choker. Let me twist my heart around now that I know. Maybe they won't lay flat. 
maybe it's just like that but you can go either way you could layer them up i loved the link on this one i still love the jenny bird one too that is a revolve classic that has the heart that goes in the front they were out of stock on that one but this one just has a cool pattern to it okay we could talk all day about this stuff i love it and i love all of your input let me know down below which thing was your favorite and stay tuned. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I will definitely have a video this Saturday or Sunday, another fashion try on haul. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.